What's up everyone, it's Brady here with Gons and Oak and today we are going to crush a huge myth in the bodybuilding world regarding rep ranges for optimal hypertrophic gains, or in other words, getting big and building muscle. As an exercise physiology student, the modern and popular hypertrophy spectrum of rep ranges has been ingrained into my head. Most of us have heard it before, but it goes a little bit something like this. If you're training strength, then you strictly need to train within the two to six rep range and about 85% or higher of your one repetition max. For hypertrophy or the way that bodybuilders train, you need to strictly train in the eight to 12 rep range with an intensity of about 65 to 85% of your one rep max. And lastly, for muscular endurance, you wanna train in the 15 reps or higher and in the intensity of about 65% or lower. Even my college textbook written by the NSCA titled Essentials of Strength Training and Conditioning teaches this as black and white. For hypertrophy, you train this way. For strength, you train this way. For muscular endurance, you train this way. Is it accurate? Yes, it is accurate, but we're finding with the most modern and current research that this hypertrophy spectrum that we once believed so strongly about isn't actually as black and white as we originally thought. So we are going to talk about the most modern research that will directly impact your gains in the gym and building muscle now. So one thing that they did get right is the strength and muscular endurance spectrum. Those actually are pretty accurate, but even then we find something really incredible with this study. In a study in 2014, 17 young men were divided into two groups. One was training primarily for strength. Remember strength being about 85% of their one rep max and more. Then the second group was put through a traditional hypertrophy program, meaning that they are training in about 65 to 85% of their one rep max and in reps of about eight to 12. What we found is that they both hypertrophied the same. The group training for strength got just as big as the group training for size. One thing I wanna point out though is that the group that was training for strength did get stronger. So if your goal in the gym is to get stronger, keep training for strength. But what we found out is that you're not limited to training for hypertrophy in order to get bigger, but you can also train for strength and get just as big. This was seen again in a study performed by 18 young men. Now this one's incredible. One group trained at only 30% of their one rep max, while the other group trained at 80% of their one rep max. The group that trained with the lower load, the 30% load, trained within reps of 25 to 35, while the other group trained in the usual eight to 12. What we found is that their hypertrophy gains were once again identical the exact same. And in a third study involving 56 adults, we saw the same thing. One group training at 80% or the traditional hypertrophy range, and then another group training as low as 20%. And we saw that the hypertrophic gains were once again identical. Although it is good to point out again that the group that was training in the higher load, the 80%, did see significant strength gains as well, unlike the other group. So now we have several studies and meta analysis that all are saying the exact same thing. This hypertrophy spectrum is a lot bigger than we originally thought. We find a bit more important clarification when we look at a recent paper reviewed by Mass, where we find that most gains do not continue past the 30%. Yes, in some studies, 20% were used, but in most cases, 30% seems to be kind of the cutoff point, and it'll go up as high as about 90%, or as high of a load in which multiple reps can be done. So in conclusion, this is completely busted. What we thought was the only way to get bigger, eight to 12 reps, you know, 65 to 85% of your one rep max, that's not true anymore. And we've seen identical gains done by as low as 30% of your one rep max. Now there are some important takeaways to listen up. In all of these tests, it was still very focused on creating stress on the muscle itself. So don't think that you can just do 20 easy reps and then you're magically gonna get bigger. You still have to put in the work. And in most of these tests, they're going to just about failure. Doesn't matter if it's 10 reps until you're almost at failure or 30 reps, as long as you're almost to failure, you're getting that same response by your muscles and they're going to grow identically. Another key here is that everyone is different. So if you've been training the eight to 12, you know, traditional way and it's working, then keep doing it. But if you're like many of us who have hit some sort of plateau or just don't feel that you're getting the most out of your training, I would highly suggest trying this out. You know, drop it to 50% of your one rep max and crank out reps and see if it works. This can also be really good if you're experiencing injuries and lifting heavy just isn't really ideal for your body right now. Now we know that we can decrease the weight without actually 
leaving gains behind like we all once thought. So in the end, I would highly recommend testing out different rep ranges to see what's best for you and your body and see how you respond. The best type of program is something that keeps your body guessing. So if you're doing one way for several weeks, six to 12 weeks, try a different way for six to 12 weeks and see what happens. But there we have it guys, this is busted. I'm so excited to add this into my training. And if you're interested in a scientific approach to your own training to build as much muscle as possible, check out our website, link is in the bio. We have a hypertrophy program that is nine weeks long and follows all the most recent research regarding progressive overload, periodization, programming, and altogether is an amazing program. So make sure to check that out. And thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment below what you think and if you have any ideas that you want to hear next. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you later. Peace.